Hello friends. So in this video, I'm going to give you a course review on mechanical engineering course. Uh, this is the second video in the earlier video. It was related to manufacturing processes or if it is sometimes called as production techniques also. In this video, we are going to go ahead with applied thermodynamics. So let's start with the, the course review. So in this video, I'm going to cover the major topics which are included in this course. Uh, some of the study resources which I use to get good marks. What is the evaluation scheme? And uh, what are the fields of application and related fields of related to thermo, uh, applied thermodynamics? So uh, thermodynam applied thermodynamics could be generally said or short form as AP. And it is one of the core course for applied thermal sciences. So if you go, if you want to go ahead with some application field of thermal science, this is a very fundamental course for you. Uh, this may not include all the things such as uh, uh, you, you need to study related to uh, other subjects, but the, the things uh, which are included in this course may not be applicable right now. It may teach you some things which are used sometimes older, sometimes back in last uh, last decade or so. But those fundamentals are very much required. And on those fundamentals itself, you can build and innovate. So that's why the, the concepts are required. And if you found this, found this course interesting, or if you find later after studying it to be interesting, it may be a reason because you have seen such uh, processes in life. If you have seen or have hands-on experience doing such processes because this course will, as you will see later, include some compressors, include some engines in your car, et cetera, petrol cycle, diesel cycle. So different thermodynamic cycles are there. So if you find those things interesting, that's because you have seen them by your, uh, by your eyes. That's maybe a reason. And uh, there are some prerequisites to study this course clearly because it may not be possible for professor to revise all the basics and start from basic every time in a given semester period of, of limited lectures. So if you have proper knowledge of chemistry, the 11th, 12th grade chemistry, the, and uh, more fundamentally, the basic thermodynamics part uh, where you have property relationship between um, refrigerants, between liquids, etc. The thermodynamic properties and the relationships, then you would have better hands and you would be better than your peers who do, do, don't know. And you will be able to grasp uh, the concepts easily. So if you have not gone through those basics, you, you can go and just brush up all the basic thermodynamic properties and relationships. So the major topics included in this course are so the course is divided into two major parts. The first part is where we uh, want to generate uh, energy by some combustion reaction. And in the second, we, are, we want to use that energy for some other purposes. So the opposite parts are there. One is to change energy from form A to B and another is to change energy from B to C. So the first part includes the vapor power cycles, so in this, we are going to use the vapor, which is the vapor of water to power our cycle. So that is in the, in the cycle, uh, we'll use the, the working fluid will be the vapor or the, the vapor, water vapor. The second is the power cycle in which we are going to use some different kinds of gases that usually is air or sometimes it may be some separate component of air. So in these two cycles, uh, we, we can have petrol cycle, diesel cycle. So petrol cycle can also be called as auto cycle, I think. Then we have diesel cycle, Brayton cycle, etc. over there, where we want or where we use these fluids which combust and provide energy. And those energy is then transmitted into some other forms where we have some rotations happening, some trans, uh, translations happening, and we capture that energy or store that energy. Then we have combined power cycle where we use both the vapor and gas separately. We don't allow them to mix, but both power cycles are uh, incorporated into single cycle. Then we have refrigeration cycles where we use electricity and want this uh, 
uh, vapor or gas to move. So in that, in the earlier case, the, the vapor or gas was moving because of combustion. Over here, it will move because of uh, the external energy which we are providing. Then we have gas compressors which are used in refrigeration cycle. Then we have gas vapor mixture. So it is a, a bit of theory where we want to understand what happens when gas and vapors are mixed, what are their properties, how their property changes, etc. And calculate some of the property values such as density, etc. Then we have psychometry where we take, uh, so this is very interesting where we have um, uh, the, the dew formation happening where we have uh, when the, the weight, water vapor will evaporate, it will not evaporate, it will form droplets or not. So it is very uh, interesting thing. Then some of the resources which I used to study were the textbooks. So Sengel and Bowles textbook and PK NAC textbook are excellent to understand theory also and to solve questions. So the, the subject has all different kinds of cycles explained, the thermodynamic cycles explained, which has three or four components like expansion, compression, heat transfer happening, condensers, evaporator, etc. So over here you want to solve as many questions as possible. So you are thorough with the concepts and how they are applicable in practical life. So questions are very important to ace this course. Then we should also solve previous year questions. So you get an idea of how much complex situation can occur. And as part of evalu evaluation, we may have a couple of quiz. They may be announced or they may be surprised. And quiz are generally very easy. And as part of uh, mid-sem and comprehensive exams, you may be asked some of the theories where you need to give some explanations to some statements, may give true and false or some short answers where you need to define or give some differences between two process, etc. And major part of those, uh, the, the papers would be the, the numericals. And the, the applied thermodynamics is a core part for understanding power plant engineering, turbine designing. So it is a very big field now coming up where we want to, uh, as the energy requirements are increasing, we want better efficiency turbines to capture those energy. It may be related to the conventional sources of energy or non-conventional sources of energy, it doesn't matter, but the turbine is the, the component which will convert the rotational energy to electric energy. So that's what, that's what our main aim is. And then we all obviously see a lot of developments regarding renewable energy. So we want the development on that phase. So there are a lot of research happening and we need the, the understanding of applied thermodynamics over there. And if you enjoy this st uh, course study, then you would also enjoy heat transfer, PMFM, engines, motors, and mobility course, power plant engineering, RAC, CFD, control system, mechanical equipment design. So some of this course, we are up to uh, engines, motors, and mobility. These are the courses, uh, usually the compulsory courses. And the next listed course are power plant engineering, up to mechanical equipment design and disciplinary electives. So you may take this course if you enjoy studying applied thermodynamics. So that's all as the part of this course review. Thank you. And if you have any queries, please do comment. And uh, the course handout will be available in the course description. Thank you.